Hi everybody, thanks for joining me again today for another of the Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches. Now today, instead of doing sketch number 30, I'm actually going to go back and do sketch number 27, the one I missed because I got my sketches mixed up. So that is this one. It's with the three smaller squared photos and then a lot of layering and a t uh, title on top. So I'm going to do this one again. I'm going to be doing a page for my South Dakota trip. And then tomorrow I'm going to come on up and I will do the last page or the last sketch, which is this one that came out today. I've got to come up with some small photos and stuff. So I'm not ready with this one, but I knew what I wanted to do on this one. So what I have here, again, I'm still working on Mount Rushmore. So it's hard to tell because these were night photos, but this is a picture of the Mount Rushmore as it was being lit. And then up on the stage, they invite service members from the audience to come up and help to bring down the colors and fold the flag. So these are pictures of the flag ceremony happening. And then I also have a whole lot of other photos to do with the service members and stuff, but I thought this was kind of a good representation of the bringing down the flag and what it was all about. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So let me grab, I just need my circle um, template for this background. And what I was thinking for that is to take, <coughs> excuse me, because we will be able to see part of it um, I thought it would be kind of cool and I might flip this I might flip the circle to the other side because I'm thinking what I want to do is just fussy cut out um, the circular part of the flag so it's you know and it's kind of representing um, the service members that are up there and the presidencies for Mount Rushmore or the presidents for Mount Rushmore so let me go ahead and I'm just going to lightly circle around the outside of my Creative Memories template because I'm too lazy to dig everything out. And I'm just going to go ahead and use my scissors. If you guys haven't figured it out by now, I'm kind of a lazy scrapbooker. I'm, I have all the tools, but then I never get them out. So I do every once in a while, but I need to make a better effort of using the things that I've paid for as, as, far, as far as tools go. So maybe I'll do like in 2021 more of a, I know that Kathy Feigl, um, if you haven't seen her on YouTube, and I forget who else she does it with, but they have Punched Out Thursdays. And it's really neat because every Thursday she comes up with a layout and it's using their punches. And now they're doing punched out Thursdays to die for. And so they're now using their die, um, their, you know, their Sizzix dies. So here's going to be my circular element. I should put that to the side. Actually, now I might use some of the roadmap. That was the other thing I was thinking. So I know I want this to be my background. And I want this to be on here. And then I'm starting it out with the flag coming down. And then I'm going to have them folding the flag and then Mount Rushmore. So I need to slide everything over and up. All right. So now I got to decide what I want as a square. And it looks kind of like a six, well, they have one banner. And then it looks like they have like a six by six behind that. So, uh, let's see, what do I want for the banner? I'm thinking maybe I want this blue to be the banner. And I know the blues don't match, but one of the others that I grabbed, and again, I'm using paper from the Open Road paper pad, which I might say is getting a lot thinner. I have used a lot of it. So it's this Park Lane open road. 
and it had 24 sheets and I have now left two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I have 12 left in here besides what I'm working on right now. So I've already this month killed half that paper pad I just got at the end of my spending freeze. So I'm pretty pleased with that. So let me go ahead and cut a strip of this. And this is going to go behind the pictures. And the reason I'm doing this color is, one, it's a little bit lighter and the pictures are darker. So I don't want the pictures to necessarily blend in to um, where with the the photos and I'm not gonna cut I'll cut one end but not the other yet because I'm not sure how long it needs to be so I'm just gonna fishtail it and then I'll cut the other end and fishtail the other end once I have um, that figured out and it looks like it goes behind the circle. So I'm going to go behind the circle here. And it's fishtailed and goes kind of down. All right. So kind of like that. And this is going to seem weird, but I'm going to start putting like one little bit of glue behind to tack everything down. I can't stand when everything starts shifting. And now I am going a little bit lower because I want to be able to see the stripe, I think. I could pull it up. So it's halfway. All right, let's go ahead and I'm just going to lightly tack it down. So we'll go about here. And that looks good for that. And then, again, I'm just going to lightly tack these down. And it starts inside the circle. And then I'm going to just tack this one down. And I can always add more adhesive once um, I know that everything is going to stay where it's going to stay. seeing that even do I need to pull it over even more because I think my pictures are bigger so let me go ahead and move these over just a tad there we go and now I think I'm just going to go ahead and snip this here and fishtail it Okay, so I like how that looks. Now, because I want to make sense of that light blue, the reason I grabbed it is because um, I think this is a Jen Hatfield, but the light blue really matched the flowers that were on this open road paper. So I'm going to go ahead and I think see if I can get a six by six piece of paper out of this. And I can't, but look, how big can I get it? Just shy of, um, it's like five and a half, so we're just going to go ahead and trim that down. So that's five, and so right there. Make that square. And it may need to get split in half. We'll see. So this goes like this then on the inside, like so. And I think I'm going to split it in half. Right here. 
and stretch it just a little bit. Okay, so I wanted it Okay, that looks pretty straight. I'm kind of eyeballing it with the dots and then the line on the, the flag. I'm just going to tack a little bit more down below. And again, just have enough that it kind of stretches. I kind of want it to make sure that it goes to here. Let's cut it off the page. Okay, so that one's done. And now I got a little glue. I'm going to have to go up just a tad because I've got a little bit of a gap showing. There's that. Now I need one more. So I've got this wood, but I don't like, really want it to be all trees, but maybe I could do the matte paper for the next one. Let me just go ahead and cut a couple, let's see how I can fit her in. Now you can actually see how my brain <laughs> tries to work. <laughs> it's not pretty. Let me just tell you. All right, so I'm just going to cut it by um, to a six inch size again, and then we'll see. What's throwing me is the fact that I've got the circle on the other side. So let me just go ahead and um, I don't think it really matters that I whether I count it as close. Oops. A little tacking didn't work. One more piece of glue. Okay. So let's just go ahead and we're going to wing it. And I'm going to throw this like right here. And I'll throw some more glue on here. And now I'm just going to line up this edge with my background paper. Kind of slide it under. And that way it's lined up because, again, too lazy to get out the, the T-square. And now I just need one more layer. And, oops, that does not look straight. What isn't straight? A little bit of ATG showing through. 
All right, that is straight. All right, so now where do I want this layer at? Maybe we'll just go to like this. Right there. And it might be a little bit bigger, but that's okay. going to put the whole thing on here and we'll go to that side. Now again, this is going to be kind of a simple embellished page because I want mainly the story to be about the service members and the lighting of Mount Rushmore. So I will probably do, it will be more journal heavy after, um, after the video, I'll do that. It's still not looking good to my eye. You know, it's one thing when you go and you put it down on the paper and you, you think it looks right and then you hold it up to yourself and you're like, no, something's off. And see, like right in this corner here, something's off with it. And I'm not sure what. So we're going to solve that by trimming that up a little bit more. It's almost like that one's crooked. That looks straight. And that, oops, it was straight. And that looks straight now <laughs> let's get for some reason this doesn't look straight let me check doesn't look straight for some reason but it's straight when I'm holding it up here and it's straight there so I think it's just my eyes because I think the way the trees are going it like looks like it's angling down okay I'm making a hot mess of this and y'all can laugh. <laughs> what I thought would be easy is becoming more difficult. All right. 
20th time is the charm. All right, we're just gonna go high and over. Okay, we're going like that. Now I'm not gonna worry about the bottom because my title's gonna go on the bottom. So there is that. We're gluing it down now because I'm over this. <laughs> you know how you just have one of those pages that nothing seems to go right? Yeah, that would be this one. Okay, so now what I've got for my embellishing, again, is going to be very simple for my layout, for my book, because again, there's no people in here that I know, so therefore I don't have to like over embellish, and the layers really do bring a lot to it. But what I did find was, I believe this is from Jen Hatfield, and what I liked is how it said thank you. And because I'm going to be talking about the service members, I thought this would be a good place to go and put the word thank you. And so they have that title coming across the bottom. And then they have also these arrows or chevrons. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use the chevrons that are here and they go black, white, black, or black, gold, black, gold. So let me go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and put those on. And I'll glue these down afterwards when I turn the camera off. Because, again, with chipboard, you know, they're, they're not going to stay. So I have one, two, three, four, and then I'll use four on the other side. And we'll just say thank you. And then I'm just going to do, again, the gold, black gold with these. And this makes me feel good because I haven't used this paper pack or this embellishment set yet. So this is nice. And I, I don't know about you, but there's not really a whole lot of times when I need to use the word thank you. Um... The backing came off on this one. Um, I, there's not a lot of times when I need to say the word thank you on a scrapbook layout, maybe on a card. So it's kind of nice to be able to have this about the service members. And, um, and I could even use the word awesome. Let's see. Let's embellish down here. Because on here they do have the circular... But I don't think I need this circular, but just saying awesome would be nice. 
and then it does have the arrow the arrows going down and this has these gold arrows so let me go ahead and I'm just going to run it along the flag line And I don't know about thank you. Well, we're awesome. We'll wait on that. Let me see what it looks like. are all small so I think I'm just going to go with the three and the three now what I wouldn't mind doing is doing a little doodling so I'm just going to go around the edge and do a scribbly border and sometimes this just kind of wrangles it in and brings everything together I don't know why it, if it's not it kind of feels like it's empty or naked and it's falling off the page but then when you do a little scribbly border, it kind of like pulls it all in. And I think because I have so many layers, I'm going to also put the scribbly borders on those as well. And if you're if you don't have a steady hand, one of the things that I found that works good is to do two lines because then as you scribbly I'm purposely kind of making it wonky but it looks intentional so if you if you weren't intending to be perfectly straight and you don't get it straight it's okay it looks like it was intentional and I'm just gonna go around each of the see like there I just went off so now I'm just going to go and do two, and that way it looks intentional. And I even do it on the dark paper, even though sometimes it doesn't show up when it's like farther away. When you're actually looking at the album, a lot of times that um, you can still see that little bit of a detail when you're actually flipping through the book. Just this little bit left. And that is it. Um, again, very simple, doesn't need a lot. Um, sticking close to the sketch. And I probably will just do my journaling down here, like where the sketch has this little element that I'm not using. I'll just do my journaling down here. Um, and just added in about the night lighting and talking about the service member coming up and, and folding the flag. And like I said, in the book, it will all look, it looks simple by itself, but once you get the whole thing together with the colors and the embellishments, and then the important pages and the um, pocket pages, it all becomes one, it looks like a finished album, even though you didn't, spend a lot of time on the embellishment so all right well I want to thank you and again check out tomorrow I will have the 30th layout 
um, because I have tomorrow off. It's Saturday, so I'll be able to go in and catch up and get that last one done, and then we're all done with the 30 days. I want to thank you so much for sticking with me all month. This has been a lot of fun. We'll see you tomorrow for the last layout, and have a great evening. Bye-bye.